What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Johnny, and today I'm gonna to be telling you guys how to get video production clients through email. It's a million dollar question in video production is how do you get clients? So I started Reverb about three years ago, and since then I have gone through a roller coaster of learning sales and how to sell video. Uh, I've tried really everything and experimented with different things and from a cold outreach standpoint I've found that this method is like the most effective out of anything. There's different options that work for everybody but over these last three years I found that from a cold outreach standpoint this method of sending video emails to clients um, works way better than anything in regards to the response rates, success rate, everything else. We've won multiple projects through this, multiple big projects, gotten some long-term clients. Um, and so it's a pretty effective way. So I'm gonna walk you through some different steps of how to do it, what it looks like, um, you know, what to include in your emails and all that stuff. So let's get to it. All right, so starting out a few basics of sales and selling. So there's cold leads, warm leads, um, cold outreach. And so basically cold outreach means that you are reaching out to somebody for the first time. They don't know who you are. Um, and you are going into a situation with a pretty low chance of getting their attention or winning something over. So it can oftentimes become a numbers game of how many contacts you are sending out, how many people you're reaching out to, um, because most likely you're not going to get a high success rate. So the most important thing to note first off, right off the bat, is when you are selling, when you're reaching out to clients, you need to provide as much value to them as possible. These people are busy, they don't have time to just look at, squirrel, look at that, right there. Oh, he's digging, he's digging for nuts. Yeah, he's kind of skinny. Oh, he's right there. Should we give him food? Do we have any nuts? Unsalted <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have an absolute feast. I think this is like animal cruelty, right? Okay. These clients and businesses and business owners and marketing directors that you're gonna be reaching out to are busy and they do not have time to read through a long email that you're sending basically asking for them to pay you to shoot video for them. Um, so the most important thing is figure out ways that you can provide value to them right off the bat and ways that you can really catch their attention. Um, they're most likely getting a lot of these emails, a lot of cold emails, a lot of selling, all of that stuff. And so they're not going to respond to a generic sales email asking, Hey, hire me, give me money. Ultimately, you need to provide as much value as possible to a client. And you need to do that in order to build trust with them, um, build somewhat of a relationship with them. And over time you can cultivate that relationship and, um, whoops. Oh, we got a new subscriber. Hello, <laughs> should I do a shout out? <laughs> Just kidding. You need to cultivate the relationship and ultimately the hope is over time, the client will trust you enough and see the value that you can provide to them and will hire you for video production needs. So in summary, the number one thing to remember when reaching out to new clients and doing cold outreach is to provide value and grab their attention in any ways that you can. So video is a great way to do that. It's a great way to quickly relay information, quickly provide value, and also grab someone's attention. Because ultimately, uh, if you think about your own email experiences, you're probably not getting too many emails to where somebody is recording a video just for you and sending it over to you. Uh, it's pretty easy to separate the generic automated emails to where somebody is sending out hundreds of emails and there's no customization, no personalization. They're not spending the time to get to know you or your company or anything like that. And then the emails where there is a lot of genuine time spent and they're really looking at your work and looking at the company or whatever and spending time to go through all of that and relay that through an email. So a custom video message in your email is a phenomenal way to get somebody's attention because you are spending the time to 
go through their information, go through their profile on LinkedIn, go through the company's website and talk about that stuff in your video. Because ultimately when somebody sees that, they're gonna pay attention to you and you're going to stand out from all of the generic emails that were sent to a hundred other people. So moving on to the first option for video emails, um, Wistia Soapbox is a pretty standard one. It's what a lot of people use. It's a Chrome plugin, super easy to set up and you can just record right from your webcam. You can do a screen capture as well. You can do a combination of both of them. And so early on when I started my company, I used a lot to reach out to clients. I would record my screen, go through their website, break down you know, what's nice about it, what could potentially change, where a video could potentially go. I'd go through their social media, all of that stuff, and I'd break it down. Super personal, takes a decent amount of time per client, but at the same time, if you look at the conversion rates and everything else, it's much more worth it to spend that extra time and get to know a business and show that you're genuinely interested in working with and providing value to that business. With that said, over time, uh, as I learned and developed more sales skills, I realized that Soapbox was not the ideal way to do it. The thing with Soapbox that I have a problem with is when you create a video, it creates a link essentially in an email. And so when you send that email to somebody, you have to click the link, open up a Chrome tab or a web browser tab, and watch the video through their website. And it sounds harsh, but a lot of people are going to lose interest in two, three seconds. They're not gonna click a link, they're not gonna spend the time to watch something on another website, have to open up a tab, whatever. They're just not gonna do it. So with all of that in mind, I took what I knew from using Soapbox and came up with a much better solution. So for this, you'll probably need a camera, you'll need some lights, you'll need a microphone, but if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you already have all of that stuff. So basically what you're gonna do on the front end is spend some time going through your ideal clients, your ideal companies, uh, whether you're going through LinkedIn Sales Navigator or Google or whatever, and you're gonna try and find as much information as you can about the companies and potential decision makers that you wanna to talk to. So the people to reach out to are uh, chief marketing officers, business owners, marketing directors, marketing managers, um, communications directors, all kinds of people who are high level in a company or organization that are going to be able to make decisions and that are going to um, understand the needs of video and potentially are already looking for video. So once you find the decision makers names for these different companies, you're gonna need their emails. So I use a tool called Hunter. Um, I believe it's free and again, it's a Chrome plugin, but basically what it does is whatever website you're on, you can click the button and it will show you all of the known email addresses for that website that are associated with it. So a lot of times it doesn't have job titles or anything like that, but if you already have a name for who the decision maker is and who the right person that you need to contact is, you can just see if it's their first name or just their last name, you know who that is and you know, okay, that's the email that I need to reach out to. So build a list of all of those with names, companies, and emails. And then once you do that, we can move on to the next step. That's not I don't know, but I'm looking at it right now. So real quick, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Um, so we'll just use the Wistia Soapbox page as an example for this. I have the plugin right up here. It's a little orange kind of like fox looking icon. So you'll just click it and there you go. You have all of these emails and a lot of them actually will have um, see here you have director of marketing right there. So a lot of them will have that, but also a lot of them will not have that. Um, I found it's usually about half and half, but yeah, if it's right there, then obviously that eliminates a step and it makes it super easy. But if not, you just have to spend a little bit more time figuring out who the right person is. The other thing is if you find, um, who the director of marketing is and they don't have the email listed on Hunter, but other people's emails are listed and you can see a structure or a trend that the emails are following. So let's say it's first initial of their first name and then last name. Why are you smiling? I'm just like, this is you're insane. <laughs> this is like detective <laughs> <laughs> This is where the video would go. This is like amazing. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> so once you have all of this information, we can move on to the next step. 
The next step is going to be recording the actual videos. So it will be nice to have a list and just kind of run through a bunch of them at once because it'll kind of save time. So there's different ways that you can do it. I tried a couple different approaches in terms of like script and all of that stuff, but it's super important to say their name right off the bat, get their attention with that. Talk about something that you like about their company, their social media, their website. Um, really just show that you've spent time researching them and researching their company. And maybe talk about how you think that video can improve what they're doing. Their marketing efforts, their overall company, their sales. Whatever you think that you can provide to them, tell them that. These videos should be a maximum of 30 seconds. Again, going back, it's important to really take as little of their time as possible. And so you want to really captivate them quickly, get your information across quickly and not take up a bunch of their time. So once you record all of these, you can move to post, get these edited, cut up, separated, all of that stuff. Um, what we did with ours is we threw in a little micro reel into them, which was about like 10, 15 seconds with some music in it. And again, just really catching their attention super quickly and hopefully building some trust and credibility, showing that you know, you've worked with other companies that are maybe similar um, in similar fields. So once the edits are done, everything is separated, the reels are in, all of that stuff, they're ready to send out. It's important to compress these videos as much as you can because when you're sending an email, there's usually a limit of 20 megabytes. So we compressed the bit rate enough to where each video was like 10 megabytes max. Quality wise, it really didn't change anything and it made for a seamless process when sending an email and ultimately when somebody opens up the email, the video is just there right in the email that they can click on. So I'll just play the video here and you guys can see what it looked like for this one. Hi. My name is Johnny Hammond. I run a video production company in Bend called Reverb Films. We work with a variety of companies in Bend, Portland, and Eugene to help tell their stories through video. I wanted to reach out and potentially get a conversation started with you as our team sees a lot of opportunity for story-driven content with That is essentially our bread and butter. That's our focus is story-driven content. And we see a lot of potential for that with I'd love to talk more about this with you if you're interested just let me know and i'm happy to get that set up thanks so much for your time so i'm going to break down a little bit of what the email should look like what the text should look like where the video should go and then what a successful version of this looks like this is with a project that we actually won a client that we won and we worked on some awesome videos for them so first off make sure to lead with their name in the email it is important to address them directly and show that you know who they are and you are reaching out to the right person the contents of the email should be relatively short. You wanna get your information across as quickly as possible in a couple sentences. Introduce yourself, talk about what you do very quickly and what type of value you think that you can provide. Lastly, it's really important to mention that you put together a custom video for them and attached it below. When they see that, they're gonna get curious. They're gonna be like, hmm, is this actually a custom video? Is my name in it? And they're going to hopefully click on it. One more thing. Uh, it's nice to link your website, link your reel, something like that, where if they want to learn more, they can just quickly click on something and go to your website directly. So moving from there, we have the actual video. Like I said, this is just directly in the email. It's embedded right there. Um, regarding the thumbnail, the way that you do this is you pick a good frame of your video and put some text in there that has the person's name in it. This takes the customization of it to another level. It shows this video has my name in it. I'm gonna watch it. To do the thumbnail, um, just put all that stuff in the first frame of your video. And when you upload the attachment in your email, it will automatically show the first frame of the video as the thumbnail. So next up, moving to his email. Um, Johnny, you got me. Let's set up some time to talk. You free Friday at 1130. So there's not much I can say about that. He clearly is interested and we got him. We caught his attention. He didn't leave the email on read. He responded to the email and more than that, he wants to chat with us. He wanted to set up a time right away to chat and talk about what we can provide to him. So this clearly worked in, in this situation. On our first call, he mentioned to me that he gets tons and tons of emails every single day from people trying to sell him. But ultimately what won him over is the video, high quality, good audio that is talking directly to him. And we showed that we spent time getting to know him, getting to know the company and talking about how we can provide value, how we can genuinely help the company grow and help their marketing efforts. 
It's important to note that with anything in sales, it ultimately is a numbers game. You are not going to get a 100% response rate. You are not going to win every single client that you reach out to, but sending these customized videos in your emails adds a huge edge. So this is just one of the ways of selling and reaching out to clients and getting new clients for video. Um, I hope you guys found this helpful in some ways. This method has been super effective for us in getting new clients through cold outreach. Let me know if you guys found this helpful. If you want to hear more about business stuff and selling and all of that stuff, I'm happy to talk about it. Just let me know in the comments down below. So that's about it. If you like this video, feel free to drop a like, drop a sub. Until next time, peace.